A fiery hit and run crash left families confused about who died and what police are doing about it. It happened last week in the Metro East where Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is trying to get answers for those in mourning. In the early morning of May 22nd, this pickup truck reportedly ran a red light on Highway 3 at 8th Street, hitting this Ford Escape, seriously injuring Justin Stewart and killing his sister, Nicole Kent. She was really just a really good, kind-hearted person. She really didn't deserve this at all. Nicole's sister, Ashley Stewart, and her mother, Cynthia Mobley, are numb. Nicole was very special. She was unique. She was loyal. Their grief compounded by the suspect running off and an unexpected response from authorities. They say the hospital told them a different family member had died, someone not even in the car. They began to figure it out when they saw Nicole's car on Fox 2 and could not reach her. I was running around everywhere looking for my sister. I called the city morgue and told them that they have an identity problem. And I told her, I said, well, I need you to look at that body you have down there and tell me if it has a sleeve tattoo. And I said, and there's going to be, you know, a flower on one side. And she says, and a hello kitty. And I said, you got Nicole Kent. We've reached out to SLU Hospital via both email and phone call for a response. So I didn't get why that would be. I guess my sister or somebody had her ID. She lost her ID a couple months back. And I guess my sister and my little brother had it and they were going to give it back to her. Ashley says she returned to the scene several times to find potential evidence laying around, including a license plate, possibly of the suspect, and a mysterious cell phone. Here's that phone, still locked and waiting for East St. Louis police, a department that mom Cynthia says acts like they've given up. They're making it sound like it's uh, probably not going to happen because they said that the truck was too burnt to get DNA. No one was available at East St. Louis police when we arrived in person. Illinois State Police report this is strictly a municipal investigation in which they are not involved. Please contact us if you were there, if you saw him, because from what I understand, he did not leave the scene right away. I just keep getting a feeling that there's still something out there. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.